the 6,900. Nothing can justify terrorism, ever. No grievance, no goal, no cause can excuse a terrorist act. At the same time, we must remove the conditions that feed the problem. Terrorism festers where conflicts are endemic, and where human rights, human dignity, and human life are not protected and impunity prevails. There were far too many victims of terrorism over the past year, but none was more compelling in her struggle than Malala Yousafzai, <coughs> the young Pakistani teen who was shot along with her schoolmates by extremists. The government and people of Pakistan were joined by others around the world in rallying behind Malala and offering their best wishes for her recovery. I was deeply moved by her brave efforts to champion the fundamental right to education, a value enshrined in, in the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, as well as in the teachings of Islam. The original agenda for this meeting is in the fight against terrorism, regional and sub-regional efforts are extremely important. We need regional cooperation to impart education, to bolster criminal justice system, to enhance connectivity, to secure borders, and to tighten financial controls. Besides, regional cooperation is necessary to guarantee lasting peace and security. Pakistan and Afghanistan have taken steps towards a strategic partnership to jointly fight terrorism. This is a multi-pronged approach to counter terrorism. We are supporting an Afghan-led and an Afghan-driven reconciliation process and efforts aimed at creating a peaceful and stable Afghanistan. Comprehensive approach to counter terrorism. Financing is the lifeblood of terrorist networks. Cutting off that financing is core to countering terrorism. So we welcome the work of the United Nations and other international bodies, including the Financial Action Task Force, in setting and promoting the effective implementation of international standards for combating terrorist financing. The agenda is about her comprehensive statement and for her support.